Hi, Year 4. Year 5? I know it's a Year 4 then. Hi, Year 5, and welcome to the Lorax Lesson 13, Understanding the Wansler. Okay, so we're going to have a little bit more of a deeper look at the Wansler and how his character changes as we get closer to the end of the story. Okay, so what we're going to do is first we're going to have a little reread, okay, of this page, because I think this page highlights pretty much the kind of person the Wansler is, okay, throughout most of the story. Now, we've done a little bit more about the Wansler. We've designed him, because obviously we don't see him in the story, which was done for a purpose and which we discussed. Okay, and now, obviously, it's coming towards the end of the story. And we there is a slight change in the Wansler. Okay, so let's see if you can spot that. So, first of all, I'm going to read this. We'll have a little bit of a look at this page, and then we're going to continue to read the rest of the story. Okay. So, I meant no harm, I most truly did not, but I had to grow bigger, so bigger I got. I biggered my factory, I biggered my roads, I biggered my wagons, I biggered the loads of the Smeads I shipped out. I was shipping them forth to south, to the east, to the west, to the north. I went on biggering, selling more Smeads, and I biggered my money, which everyone needs. Okay, so think about that page. What is it telling us about the one slip? Okay, so I'm taking already, particularly a big thing for me is the fact he places so much emphasis on money, saying that everybody needs money. Now, yes, to a certain degree, we do need money, don't we? But we always like to think that you don't need money to be happy. Okay, but that's the impression I'm getting from the Wansler. Okay, and he's saying he needs to make everything bigger, okay, in order to get that money. Okay. So that tells me about his values, okay? Quite superficial, okay? He's thinking about the more, um, ooh, what's the word I'm looking for? So he, he places a lot of emphasis on material things. That's the phrase I'm looking for, materialistic, okay? That's what he's placing a lot of his values on, isn't it, okay? So I'm going to let you know that this changes towards the end of the story, and I want you to see where we get that impression okay so listen carefully and i hope you're sitting comfortably because we're about to read the rest of the story okay so the lorax said nothing just gave me a glance just gave me a very sad sad backward glance as he lifted himself by the seat of his pants and i'll never forget the grim look on his face when he heisted himself and took leave of this place through a hole in the smog without leaving a trace Okay, now I'm going to focus on that phrase without leaving a trace because I can see this going all the way down and this being highlighted at the bottom. Okay, so that tells me there is some element of a trace that has been left there, isn't there? Okay, let's keep reading. And all the Lorax left here in this mess was a small pile of rocks with the one word, unless, whatever that meant, well, I just couldn't guess. That was long, long ago, but each day since that day, I've sat here and worried and worried away. Through the years, while my buildings have fallen apart, I've worried about it with all of my heart. Now, already, I can see a slight change in the monster's thinking. Okay, he's putting there that he's actually worried, he's concerned. Okay, so it's almost like he's looking back in hindsight. That's what we call it when you reflect back. And he's thinking, I could have probably made better choices. Because if you look now at the place he lives in, it's quite a barren land, isn't it? There's no trees, there's no life there, okay? Just this quite prominent word that says unless. But now, says the Wansler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Okay, so you can see that the one so he's talking to this young boy down here, he's gest gesturing with his arms. Okay, he's being quite forceful, isn't he? Saying that, but now says the one for now that you're here. Okay, so it almost gives us a hint. Okay, that someone's about to fix something, doesn't it? So, catch calls the one slur, he lets something fall. It's a truffle seed, it's the last one of all. You're in charge of the last of the truffle seeds, and truffle trees are what everyone needs. Plant a new truffle, treat it with care, give it clean water and feed it fresh air. Grow a forest, protect it from axes that hack. Then the Lorax and all of his friends may come back. So what does that tell you about the one so now? It's almost like he actually wants them all to come back. 
and that he regrets what he's done. Okay, and he feels a bit remorseful about his choices. Okay, and he almost wants someone to come and fix the problem, doesn't he? And look here, now he's saying that everyone needs truffle trees. Not that everyone now needs money, but everyone needs the truffle trees. Now, if you think back to our deforestation lessons, okay, you'll remember why the trees are so important to us. Okay, so it would be the same in this story. Okay, so your task is to create a memo of everything we know about the Wansler. Now, in the beginning of the story, I thought the Wansler was uh, pretty, I could understand him really well. Now I can see he's quite a complex character because he changes his perspective throughout the story, doesn't he? He started off quite selfish, okay, really focused on just what he wanted, not seeing the bigger picture. And then to the the story, he starts to understand Okay, then on this bit, in the man there, you're going to write about his personality. Like, see, you may want to put that he was selfish at the beginning, okay, single minded. But then you may want to put towards the end that actually he was a bit remorseful. He was worried, okay? His appearance is a tricky one. So, what I want you to do for that is to think about how you designed him, okay? And maybe put that. So, if you designed him, he had brown hair, but he wore a top hat, okay, you can put all that on there. And his actions and speech, this is where you may want to look at the comparison between when he said that money was so important, okay, to when he says, well, actually, truffle trees is what people need, okay, the fact he chops down all the trees, get the bar bar balloons have to leave, you may want to put all that in the actions and speech section. Okay, and then tomorrow we're going to do very similar activity, okay, and do it looking at the law rats, okay, so 